What's up guys, Graham here. If you guys have left a comment in the comment section of the last weekend video that we had, which was the planner ride video, then you are entered into the giveaway of several different things. We're giving away a Rex and also two 30 day patron passes. So the winners of that are, bam, right there. Congratulations, we'll be sending your prizes to you just shortly. As usual guys, the ones that use my donation link in the description below my videos, actually spur on giveaways and we've had two donations this week the first one comes from brian and it was a ten dollar donation which is going to spur a rex giveaway thank you so much brian thank you for supporting the channel i really appreciate it man the second donation was from jp which he has been donating for a long time on a reoccurring payment every month of ten dollars so that's going to spur another Rex giveaway. Thank you so much, JP. You have been supporting us for so long. Thank you, thank you, thank you. So in order to be eligible for the giveaway of one of these two Rex, all you have to do is leave a comment in the comment section below this video with your character name and server. And also be subscribed to the channel and also be sure to hit that like button. Now, as usual with Rex giveaways, if you are one of the people that have used my referral link in order to make your Rift account from the description below my videos, then if you are one of the Rex winners, you will win 10 times that amount of Rex. So make sure you use that referral link if you are just now starting Rift and benefit from being a friend of Grimm's. The winner will be announced in the next weekend video. Good luck everyone. What's up guys and welcome to the second edition of our platinum making series and we are heading to the old raid instance of the drowned halls which is located in scarwood reach and if you would like to know the coordinates i will have them in the description below this video so check down there and then we're wanting to get to the bottom of this stairwell which is at the lord's hall and there is a portal right in front of us but you must have quantum sight in order to see it if you do not have quantum sight you can find a vendor in your faction's hometown that will sell it to you for a bunch of planterite and once inside you'll notice that you'll be confronted by a few mobs and you can choose to fight them or just stealth right past them most people like to stealth past them if they have the ability to save time because the real rewards come from the loot that you get from the bosses so once you're at the top you'll be confronted by assault commander jorb and this fight is very easy so you don't have much to worry about it's usually recommended that you stay in melee range because he does pulls and all that stuff me i don't really care where i stand this guy is not going to hurt me at all most people recommend that you use a pet spec with almost all of these fights in this particular instance raid but it's up to you it just makes things easier if you have a pet once he's dead, go ahead and loot him up and then wander further into the drown halls. And of course you will have more ads that you need to go ahead and DPS down. And once you've got them down, you'll go to Joral Rage Tide. And this guy is another super simple fight. Just go for it, DPS him down, ignore all the ads. Don't worry about it. Once he's dead, all the ads will disappear and you'll be able to collect your loot. And as you can tell with a pet, it just makes these fights so much easier. So definitely use a pet spec if you have it. And if you have any kind of self-healing, it helps even more. Then wander forward and go ahead and kill off any ads that you see. And you can just AOE them down. And then the next boss will pop up. And this is Iskal. And he's a little bit more of a complicated fight than the other ones. In that he does this ice shard. And it is interruptible. But it does a lot of damage if you're the one taking the damage. So be sure to interrupt it if you cannot take a hit. And then he will start doing this tidal wave thing. And what you need to do is run in the direction of the waves. So as you can see I'm running to the right whenever it's doing this. And then it will change directions right now and I am running in the opposite direction but it is a simple fight just go ahead and DPS them down you don't have to worry about too much other than those two mechanics and once this guy is down go ahead and move forward and it will lead you back out to the front where you'll see a lot of mobs that are all kneeling down waiting for the last boss Hydrus to come down the stairs now the point is is to go ahead and gather them all up and AOE them down before Hydrus gets to the bottom of the stairs 
But in all reality, these guys are very weak and Hydrus takes a long time to come down the stairs as you can see. So basically you'll be twiddling your thumbs as you are waiting for her to finally get down to the bottom and start the fight. And once she floats forward, I go ahead and sick my pet on her. And the idea is that she does frontal attacks and if you are right behind her, you will not get hit by her tidal wave attacks. The most annoying thing about this fight is she will be polymorphing you into a sea cap constantly. So if you have a CC immunity or break freeze, be sure to have them ready to go. Uh, another thing that is very annoying is there are lots of DPS decreases that's going to be happening, such as this dragon whelp in front of me. His bubble around him causes my DPS and healing to be reduced. Now another thing that will be happening during the fight is these hives will pop up and they will be spawning sea caps, which the sea caps are very weak, but while the hives are up your damage is lower now a lot of people like the dps the hives down i generally just ignore them i ignore everything for the most part and gather them all up and just aoe them down around the boss they'll keep spawning and attacking you but they're no problem at all in general this boss is very easy it's just an annoying fight with all the dps decreases and the cc's but in general it's a very easy fight she does a little bit of a hard hitting ability with that hydraulic shock but it's nothing that's going to kill level 65 for sure after she's dead go ahead and kill all the ads that are on you and then at the center of the room there will be a chest that you will gather your loot from overall this encounter will take around eight minutes if you rush through it and it will yield about 86 platinum or so whenever you sell all the loot and also gather all the platinum from all the bosses so an eight minute investment pretty much 10 platinum per minute if not a little bit more is pretty nice hope you guys enjoyed this guide and as usual my name is grim and i will see you next time